Hello, my favourite verse in the Bible. It's actually the very first verse in the Bible. The book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. That's why I've got this background behind me, just in case you were wondering. This verse underpins a large part of my faith. As a child of about 10 years old, I remember looking up at the sky and wondering where everything came from. I remember having a weird sort of feeling as I thought about it. I wasn't brought up in an actively Christian household, so I wasn't familiar with the Bible. The, the previous year I had witnessed man's landing on the moon on t television at five in the morning. This was probably the pinnacle of human achievement at that time. I'd got nearly all my knowledge from encyclopedias and secular school and television. I was led to believe science could explain everything. However, however when I looked up at the sky that day, I must have sensed the mystery of our existence. For me, this verse in the Bible explains what science cannot explain. However, it's a statement that has maybe created more consternation than any other biblical statement. But I like that the Bible straightforwardly says that the world was created by God. It did not create itself, and it did not occur by chance. There is no attempt to prove the existence of God anywhere in the Bible. And this verse simply says, in the beginning God created. And this is our first challenge of faith and perhaps the biggest. In fact, if you have trouble with this verse, then the rest of the Bible is probably going to be very challenging to you. However, if you don't have any problem believing the verse, then it's likely you're not going to have any issue at all with it. After all, if God can create the universe and nature, he can do anything. If you are challenged by this statement, then the alternative is to believe in evolution which over time I personally have found harder to have faith in. Cosmology seems to be a science with very few facts, and the ones we have seems to be constantly changing. At one stage, cosmologists believed in the steady state universe, and now they say there was a big bang that brought matter into existence. They've recently discovered something called dark matter and dark energy, which together account for about 95% of the universe, but they don't understand it. Apart from theorising it prevents the universe flying apart. They claim that out of nothing and nowhere matter exploded into existence, but they cannot explain how and why, even though that contravenes their own scientific law of causality, which states that <clears throat> every effect has a cause. But how do we know God created heaven and earth? Well, one of the things we can look for is order in the universe because order is a sign of intelligence and a designer. Just consider the human body and other life forms, the stars and the orbits of planets, they all exhibit order. Evolutionary theory would have us believe that over millions of years, order came out of disorder and involved no intelligent design at all. It's like trying to make us believe that given enough years, a hurricane blowing through a scrapyard could assemble a fully working passenger jet, fully fueled and ready to take off. And that's a lot less complex than just your human eyeball. The order in the universe is what Paul was talking about in Romans chapter 1 verse 20 when he said since the creation of the world's God's invisible qualities his eternal power and divine nature have been clearly seen being understood from what has been made so that men are without excuse. As Paul says we don't have any excuse we can easily recognise the difference between something that has been created with intelligent design and something that has been thrown together randomly. The fact of the matter is that there's plenty of evidence in the universe of intelligent design. We are learning more and more as time goes on. Just look at the complexity and order of DNA. We are beginning to understand how much is needed just for a single cell to function. All parts of a cell have to work in unison and the cell will fail to function if they don't do so. The interesting thing is that the word created that is used in Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 comes from the Hebrew word that is only ever used with God as the object. It never applies to anything man can create because it speaks of that which is created from nothing. God created the universe without any ingredients. He created all simply by speaking it into being. The evolutionists don't believe God created the universe, but they believe it just sprang into existence with no cause. That's one of the reasons why I believe it takes more faith to believe in evolution than to believe in God.